We have a large eye care practice that encompasses about 10 physicians where we have subspecialty care. We do a lot of surgical and medical problems. We do not do optical problems such as glasses or contact lenses. We leave that up to our optometric colleagues, but we're very on um, in surgery of the eye. Um, tell me how you got started. It, it was interesting learning that you came to Dothan from Philadelphia. I did. I trained at a very good eye institute called Will's Eye Hospital in Philadelphia a long time ago and moved to Phil uh, rather to Dothan and uh, have been here since and, and they started a, a very small scale and the building and the practice have been very blessed by lots of growth over the years. And uh, you've grown from uh, what, two operating rooms to now you have... We have six with the potential for more. And what's really too uh, wonderful is that we have the uh, inclusion of a lot of eye doctors in the whole area. We have the potential for other services as well. We're going to expand in a way we have the opportunity to have other physicians join us and do other surgeries besides just eye surgery now. So it's going to be a multidisciplinary center that will allow lots of folks to be helped. What are, you said you do, do not do your regular eyeglasses, that right. type of stuff. What type of problem do people come to you with? Well, a lot of our patients come with cataract problems, and I do a lot of cataract surgery, and Dr. Bennett does it in our practice, and uh, we're very busy with that. In addition, we see patients with glaucoma, we see patients that have problems with lesions on their eyelids, and Dr. Bryant is a wonderful expert to help with that. We have retinal problems, with diabetes, we have uh, retinal detachments, and age-related macular degeneration, Dr. Arango and Dr. Fortin do that. So we have a wide, wide variety of uh, specialists to cover a lot of problems that the eye can have without having to do the spectacles and the glasses and the, and the care that we're not, uh, not as equipped and as well to do as well as the optometrist. And do patients have to have a referral from another doctor to come to see y'all? Well, we prefer they see their optometrist first, if at all possible, and the optometrist will then work with us in making sure they get good care. If somebody does have an emergency or a problem, of course, they can call us anytime. Now, we're actually talking to you at the, uh, your facility here in Dothan, but I understand you have other facilities other than here in Dothan. We do. We have facilities in Andalusia, Alabama, and we have one in Destin, and we have one in Panama City. So we're spreading out and we have spread out over the years. You've done a magnificent job on the design. Give me a little history of how the design came about. Well, thank you for asking. Yeah, we've worked very hard at that. About four years ago, we came to the conclusion that we were running out of room. We needed to have more operating rooms and, and it was just too crowded. So what we did is we decided, well, we're gonna have a building that's gonna be different. We had a great location right between our two fine hospitals in Dothan. We decided we can put up another structure that looks like another structure, or we can try to have something unique. And so we came to the conclusion that a European look would be uh, something unique for the area. So in actual fact, we did hire an architect out of the Netherlands who came and helped the architect locally. And between the two of them, they've come up with this magnificent design that we think is magnificent. And it gives Dothan something unique and something that doesn't have otherwise. Now, are you all completed with the construction now? Yes, we are. Yeah, the construction's finished. We are open, we're actually nurse. Patients are having very good experience and we're getting good feedback. Lots of patients have said this is so much nicer and less crowded and we feel that we're being treated in a nice, soothing, warm environment. And that was one of our focuses is to make sure patients had a very nice experience because it's somewhat nerve wracking to have surgery and you don't want to be any more nervous than you need to be. Dr. Hearsay. Were you in from the very beginning with the old RK procedures? Yes, I was. In fact, I did the first RK procedure in Dothan. Could you talk a little bit about the difference between what a patient went through back then with the original RK procedure and what you can offer now? Well, originally, uh, as I mentioned, I did the first RK surgeries in Dothan back in the late 1970s, early 80s. That time we were using razor blades that we used to shave, and I had to break off the razor blade have to measure everything as best I could and then make the cuts with razor blades in the eye. Well, we learned over the years that lasers could do a much better job. So now I use a laser instead of a razor blade. We get 10 times better precision. Patients are more comfortable. There aren't cuts put in the eye. The results are better. It's just, it's just so much different than, and actually much better than it used to be. 
uh, at Ice Center South, one of the larger employers, how, how many people do y'all employ here? We have well over a hundred people here, and they're all good, hardworking people. They're all committed to the same goal that we as physicians are, that is, of providing good, nice, careful, kind, competent care for patients. And, and patients give us that feedback. Anything else that you would like for us to... Well, I think it's maybe important to mention that our facility is unique in that we have a surgery center that is multidisciplinary and it's attached to our office, but it's also available to other physicians or any physician that is interested can, can come here and do their surgery for their patients. We would be able to offer them the opportunity to be asleep during their procedure so they can be asleep and then go home if they wanted to be. And we're licensed by the Alabama State Board of Health. We're Medicare certified. And what's really lovely is that we just received the highest accreditation given by the American Association of Ambulatory Healthcare Facilities. That's a national organization that's responsible for coming in and checking on non-hospital healthcare facilities. So we receive not only their highest mark, but also the longest period of time they can give that, which is three years. So we've gotten a really top-notch score from people that come in and check on healthcare facilities, and that just shows our commitment to quality. This is the microscope. It's what the doctors use to look through it, magnifies the eye so that uh, he gets a very good uh, view of the cataract and what's going on in the eye as he's doing the surgery. And this is our FACO machine. And it uses um, like an ultrasonic to break up the hard part of the cataract and to suck it out. It's really interesting because when the physicians are doing the surgery, they're looking through this, they're having to use both feet. One foot controls the FACO machine. One foot controls the microscope, which it's, you know, able to go down and make things larger, or smaller, or whatever. And they're using both hands. So they're looking in here, using both hands and both feet to do the we're going to see if we can get started. We're going to get this tuned up for you. Okay. And the first thing we'll do is we'll put a little cool wet drop in your right eye. This will be like something wet in there. And you'll have to feel just a little odd for just a moment. So, okay. Patient, a very handsome, I mean a very old one. 